In this video guys, I'm going to show you the easiest way to draft a princess dark bustier. So I'm starting with my pattern paper. This is the front part. So that's my bust line, my nipple point, my under bust point, and my half blouse. Your half blouse or waistline, whatever you want to call it. That's what that last line is. So from the top, I mark my neck width at 4 inches. I also marked my neck depth at 4 inches. I was keeping it really simple. Then I connected everything, the neck width and the neck depth together. And we have this beautiful neckline here. Now from the middle, I also extended my tape backwards and I marked my shoulder. Okay. So I marked my shoulder at the top and at my bust um, point, I also marked my shoulder so that everything is even and, you know, put together. Then I connected everything together. Okay. So that is my arm hole, my shoulder point. Okay. So that's my shoulder point. The next thing I went ahead to see, guys, my pencil just kept pulling. So I had to throw the, remove the wrapper. Now the pencil is matching with my pattern paper. <laughs> okay, that's out of the way. So to get my shoulder slant, at my shoulder point, I came down by half an inch and I connected it to my neck width. So that's how you get your shoulder slant. You come down by half an inch. That's how you get your shoulder slant. Okay, so after drawing my shoulder slant, the next thing I went ahead to do was to mark the width of my bust divided by four. You guys know that when it comes to pattern, we always divide our measurement by four and mark it on our pattern. So I marked the width of my bust. At my shoulder point, I marked four inches. Okay, now at that four inch mark, I came in by half an inch so that I can form my armhole curve. Okay, armhole curve, armhole, whichever one you like, just you know, I form my armhole curve. My armhole, <laughs> you guys get the drill. Okay, now after forming my armhole, after drawing my armhole, the next thing I went ahead to do is at my waistline, at the, um, your half blouse, whatever you refer it to as, I took um, four inches, which is my in between. You are going to mark your own in between. At my waistline, under bust point and nipple point, I marked four inches and I and I connected it with a straight line. The next thing I went ahead to do is I connected it to that. You know that um, armhole point where we came down by four inches. Yeah, I also went ahead to connect it to that point. So this is what we have here. Now at my half blouse. I, I marked one inch on both sides, okay? At my under bust point two, I also marked um, one inch on both sides. You guys know that the half blouse can also serve as the waist, okay? So I'll be using waist from now on. Then I connected my markings, my under bust to my waist with a straight line, which is what we have here. Now the next thing I did was to connect my under bust to my nipple point with sort of a triangular line. Uh, you guys can see the, the shape of the line there. It looks triangle. Abby, if you do, if you think it doesn't look triangle, just let me know. Okay, so I connected it to my nipple point with a triangular line, and this is what we have going on here. Very simple, very straightforward. Okay, we have drafted the bust here now because this is a princess that bust here, you want the cup to form. So at my at that point, I came down by one inch. Okay. I came down by one inch and I connected it to my nipple point because you want the cup to form, right? I came down by one inch, connected it to my nipple point. Mind you, you want to make sure that this particular line, you extend it outside the armhole curve. You will need that later. Now, from that point, I marked one inch because this is a princess that bust here is going to short. Now, the distance between those two points, I added it back to my bust. This time between those two points as well, I added it back to my boss because we are going to cut it out and this is going to make the boss short. So we need to add it back to the pattern. So I added it back to the pattern. Then I went ahead to mark my under boss point, the measurement of my under boss point. I marked it. Then the distance between those two points, I also added it back. I also took my waist measurement. I also marked my waist measurement and the distance between those two points as well. I added it back to the pattern because we are going to cut all those ones out and throw it away. So I added it back to the pattern. So after doing this, the next thing I went ahead to do was to connect my markings with a straight and slanted line. You guys know the drill. If you are an OG here, you know what we do. Okay, now the next thing I went ahead to do is remember that one inch mark. Okay, I just connected it back to my arm hole measurement because you want to make sure that it doesn't short when you are joining the the, the the dress together so that's the need for that extra one inch 
after doing this, the next thing I had to do was to add my um, sewing allowance. I added one inch sewing allowance. I also went ahead to mark it out with my matter with my marker before I bought my mouth with my marker so it will be very visible for you guys to see. And I went ahead to target center front, send um, side front, and one and two pieces so you know which goes before which. Yeah. So this is what we have here for the front pattern. This is what we have here for the front pattern. This is when I've cut it. Very simple, very straightforward. Drafting the princess with that bustier is this easy. Now it's time for the back. Now for the back, okay, so this is my bust point. That is my standard dart line, which is 9 inches. That is my under bust point, and that is my waistline, which is also like your half blouse. Now you guys know that the standard dart line from the top to that point is 9 inches, okay? Now, to start, the first thing I went ahead to do was I marked one inch for my zip allowance. So after marking one inch for my zip allowance, I went ahead to connect my markings with a straight line. So I tagged it zip allowance so I don't forget because sometimes you will just forget and cut it off. Yeah, so from that point, I took the width of my neckline for at um, four inches and the depth at one inch. You also want to make sure that you mark the one inch at the zip allowance so everything is precise. Okay, so after doing this, next thing I had to do was to connect my markings together. So I connected my markings together to form my neckline. Now, you guys, my camera caught me off because I was struggling to film and struggling with my baby. So, guys, the next thing I had to do was to mark my shoulder point and draw my armhole curve, just like I showed you for the front pattern. It's just the same thing I did for the back pattern. Okay. So now, after doing that, the next thing I went ahead to do is from the from the from the zip allowance line, I went ahead to mark. Four inches at my under bust point, my waistline, and my standard that line. Okay, you can see the lines, those three lines. Yeah. Then I went. I, then I went ahead to connect my markings with a straight line. Okay, very simple, very straightforward. I connected my markings with a straight line. Now the next thing I went ahead to do is remember that for your for your shoulder line you always look for the middle of your shoulder line which is four inches and I connected the dart line to my arm hole okay which is like my shoulder line so after connecting I, I went ahead to make sure that I extended the line outwards because because of the dart I'm inserting now it's going to short so we need that extra okay we need that extra to accommodate the shot so at the hem I marked half an inch. On both sides as at my waistline I marked half an inch on both sides and I connected my markings to my standard dart line with a triangular line okay or straight line or slanted line yeah so I connected it this is what we have here guys now the next thing I went ahead to do is at that point I marked one inch now the reason for marking this one inch is so that by the time you are joining it if this one inch will accommodate the shortage okay so the one inch I marked, I also went ahead to connect it back to my bust line, just like we did for the front part. So this is what we have here. Now, the next thing I went ahead to do was to mark my under bust point. And the distance between those two places, I added it back to the pattern because you guys know we are going to cut it out. I also went ahead to mark my waist measurement. Then the distance between those two points, I went ahead to add it back as well. So after doing this, the next thing I went ahead to do was to connect my markings together. You guys, drafting a princess that was here is, is very simple. So now, after marking and um, um, adding, uh, I have missed what I'm saying. After, I, will, I went ahead to add my sewing allowance, one inch sewing allowance because I've missed my train of thought. Okay, so guys, this is what the back part looks like. Very simple, very straightforward. There are different ways to draft this pattern. I'm going to be releasing them one by one on this channel. Then I went ahead to highlight it with my marker so it's very visible and beautiful for you guys to behold. And I went ahead to cut it so you see the beauty more. Okay, now this is what it looks like. This is what the back pattern looks like. Very simple, very straightforward. Now, this is what the front and the back pattern looks like. You can see the beauty in all its goodness, the way advertisers used to say. So, you guys, this is the simplest way, the easiest way, and the fastest way to draft a princess that bust here. Do let me know what you think in the comment section. Make sure you like, make sure you subscribe. If you're watching from Facebook, make sure you share, make sure you follow, make sure you like my page. And I'll see you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.